Welcome to Savunma Turkey YouTube channel. In this video, we will focus on ASL FLIR systems, which are FLIR systems developed by Aselsan for fixed wing and rotary wing, manned and unmanned aerial vehicles. Our video will mainly be about air vehicles, but we will also provide brief information about the use of ASL FLIR systems on land and sea vehicles. However, since we have reviewed ASL pod systems in our videos before, we will not mention them again here. FLIR is an abbreviation consisting of the initials of the words forward-looking infrared. It is defined as a modern electro-optical reconnaissance, surveillance, and targeting system, consisting of sensors sensitive to radiation, corresponding to the infrared range in the electromagnetic spectrum, and used especially for military purposes. What is generally meant by the term FLIR system is the systems resembling a round ball, which are mostly located under the fuselage or in the nose of the aerial vehicle. These ball-like structure called gimbal, which can rotate in all directions, contain many systems placed according to design needs, such as thermal cameras, day cameras, laser range finders, laser target markers, laser pointers, laser point tracker sensors, etc. FLIR, that is, electro-optical reconnaissance, surveillance and targeting systems integrated into air platforms, helps greatly to perform different tasks of the platforms, such as reconnaissance, surveillance, target marking, target illumination, and target designating. It is important for FLIR systems to be lightweight, as they are installed on aerial platforms. For example, if an aircraft with a maximum payload of 300 kilograms carries a FLIR system weighing 150 kilograms, only 150 kilograms can be allocated for the remaining systems or ammunition. When the same vehicle carries a 50 kilogram FLIR system, 250 kilograms can be allocated for the remaining systems or ammunition. This offset makes the aircraft more effective. An aircraft is exposed to great vibration due to weather events, as well as the effect created by its own power plant. That's why FLIR systems are expected to first overcome these physical drawbacks, minimize the existing vibration and shock effects, and then provide high performance by obtaining a clear image. In parallel with the Turkish defense industry's development and production of manned and unmanned aerial vehicles, there emerged a requirement for FLIR systems to be integrated on these platforms. The first project where the requirement was defined was the Cougar Helicopters Joint Production Program in 1996. Within the scope of the program, the need for the FLIR system in helicopters was supplied with the ASL FLIR 200 system, developed and produced under the responsibility of Aselsan. Aselsan cooperated with the U.S. company Raytheon within the scope of the project. The ASL FLIR 200 project, as it was the first project of the company, was an important milestone in the development of Aselsan's FLIR systems. The ASL FLIR 200 system was later integrated into the Turkish Coast Guard's SAR helicopters. In addition, the naval version of the system, the ASL FLIR 200D system, was chosen for the Tuzla-class patrol boats of the Turkish Navy. Within the scope of the T-129 attack and tactical reconnaissance helicopter project, a newer version of ASL FLIR 200 system was needed. For the T-129 helicopter project, Aselsan has developed the ASL FLIR 300T system, this time without external support. The ASL FLIR 300T system, located on the cannon of the T-129 helicopter, can rotate 360 degrees and can detect targets at a distance of up to 20 kilometers, and identify targets at a distance of up to 10 kilometers. The T-129 helicopter also has the AVCI helmet integrated queuing system and works synchronously with the ASL FLIR 300T system. As with the ASL FLIR 200 system, the ASL FLIR 300D system, which is the naval version of the ASL FLIR 300T system, was selected for the Turkish Navy's Milgam Corvettes. Since ASL FLIR 200 and 300T systems were designed to operate in helicopters, there was no significant problem in terms of weight. However, Turkey's needs would change in the coming years. When Turkey could not procure the unmanned aerial vehicles it needed from abroad in the time, capability and number it desired, this time, it opted to develop it itself. Tusa's company with its Anka project, Baker company with its TB2 project, and Lenta Tech company with its Carayel project, have been the pioneers of unmanned aerial vehicle development projects. However, these first unmanned aerial vehicles had limited payload capacity, and the ASL FLIR 200 or 300T was too heavy a system for them. For this reason, 
Lighter Teledyne Star Sapphire and Westcam MX-15D systems were procured from foreign manufacturers and started to be operated in Turkish unmanned aerial vehicles. Although the urgent need was somehow met from abroad, Aselsan continued to work on the Asil Fleer 400 and CATS projects as a continuation of the Asil Fleer 300T. The main goal of the Asil Fleer 400 project was to obtain a more advanced and lighter version of the Asil Fleer 300T used in the T-129 helicopter. The main goal of the CATS project is to obtain a product that reaches the performance and weight values of foreign FLIR systems operated in Turkish unmanned aerial vehicles. As a matter of fact, it has become clear over time how accurate the decision was to initiate CATS development work by a Selsun. With Turkey's operation in the east of the Euphrates beyond its borders, the Canadian government ceased the export of Westcam MX-15D systems to Turkey even though both countries are members of NATO. As a result of the negotiations between Turkey and Canada, exports were reopened in April 2020. However, afterwards, exports were stopped for the second time, claiming that Westcam systems were used in unmanned aerial vehicles operated by Azerbaijan armed forces during the Second Karabakh War. At this point, Turkey prioritized the production of CATs with similar features, which it already has and continues to develop, rather than direct procurement from abroad. Today, Aselsan CATs is used extensively in Baker-produced TB2 and tusas produced Anka UAVs. According to the statement of Aselsan General Manager Ahmet Akyal dated October 28, 2023, 158 units of the CAT system have been produced already, and the system has been exported to 12 countries without restrictions. A Selsun CATS has shown that it is not inferior to any foreign system in the operational field, and has become a product that breaks embargoes. The Asil FLIR 400 system is planned to be used in the heavy class attack helicopter ATAK-2, as well as the Gokbi helicopter. As a result of the developments in display technologies, it seems possible to replace the Asil FLIR 300T system in the T-129 ATAK helicopter with the Asil FLIR 400 system in case there is a need for updating in the future. Aselsan introduced the Asil FLIR 500 system as its newest product. Aselsan General Manager Amit Akyal said about the Asil FLIR 500 system, it will enter the inventory in the coming days. It is a system that we can call the best in its field in the world. Their flight tests are largely over. It has now become a product that security forces will use next year. Asil FLIR 500 was specifically aimed at high resolution, and we achieved this, he said. Akyal also said, Unlike our counterparts in the world, we try to produce all the components starting from the chip inside, to the detector, ins, GPS and lens. We made these products so that there are no restrictions, he explained that Asel FLIR 500 was carried out with a pre-designed approach against all kinds of restrictions. Finally, Akyal stated that Turkey is one of the three countries in the world that can produce a product such as Asel FLIR 500, designed with common aperture architecture in the 15-inch class. Turkish defense industry continues to develop new and more advanced air platforms. Unmanned aerial vehicles such as Aksingor and Akinci and attack helicopters such as ATAK-2 are larger, longer range, capable of operating at higher altitudes and have higher payload capacity. Therefore, there are changes in the needs for the FLIR systems to be used in these new air vehicles. Aselsan is developing the Asil FLIR 600 system as a 25-inch FLIR system with precision stabilization feature, which is planned to be used on these new platforms. With the Asil FLIR 600 system, Aselsan aims to achieve very high optical zoom and high-quality image performance for platforms such as Aksingor and Akinci UAVs, which operate at high altitudes, and the heavier class ATAK-2 helicopters. Savunma Turkey's comment on the issue is as follows. Aselsan General Manager Ahmet Akyal evaluated Aselsan's activities under three main goals and emphasized that the primary goal is localization and nationalization. The second issue is to do the best in its field, and the last issue is to break new ground in the world. With this statement, he stated that the Asil FLIR 200, Asil FLIR 300T, Asil FLIR 400 and CATS projects constitute a Selsun's steps in learning technology and localization nationalization, and that the subsequent Asil FLIR 500 project provides the goal of producing the best. Ahmet Akyal's statement actually shows the roadmap of the Turkish defense industry that it may not always be possible for the Turkish defense industry to produce the best in the world immediately in the first project, but with continuous projects, after a while, 
world-class products can be developed and put into service of the security forces. Aselson's FLIR work, which started in 1996 with the 200 series and continues today with the 500 and 600 series, represents a continuous work of 27 years. The products produced from the 200 series to the 500 and 600 series are not copies of each other, but are constantly evolving products with increasing capabilities and performance. It is thought that the 27-year process has proven that the success achieved is not a coincidence, that success does not come in one day by chance. On the contrary, it is the result of regular and planned work. Our video ends here. In this video, we examined FLIR systems developed for fixed wing and rotary wing, manned and unmanned aerial vehicles by Aselson. Please feel free to make your comments about our video in the comments section. And if you like to keep receiving videos of defense subjects, you may subscribe. See you in the next video of the Savunma Turkey channel. Goodbye.